keeping traffic private has its benefits, but there are some cases when you might want Google Cloud VMware Engine or GCVE instances to have access to the public internet while still being secure. Let's dive into why and how to set that up. Let's get started by understanding the purpose of the public IP address service and its benefits. The public IP service is required to connect from the internet to a workload VM, management appliance, or load balancer running inside your GCVE private cloud. The benefits include distributed denial of service, DDoS attack prevention, is automatically enabled for the public IP address, traffic monitoring and real-time mitigation of common network level attacks, and protection and mitigation of attacks across the entire scale of the global network. Be aware of the following caveats while using the public IP service. Before enabling the public IP service and allocating a public IP address to a workload VM, the Internet Access Network service must be enabled in a specific region. You are allowed to reserve a maximum of 100 public IP addresses for the primary VPC network connected to VMware Engine. While assigning a public IP address to vCenter, NSX, or HCX Manager, it is strongly recommended to open only port 443 to a specific set of IP addresses. Finally, remember the public IP service is disabled on GCVE by default. To enable internet access and public IP service in your GCVE private cloud, you must have the Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role VMware Engine Service Admin. This role has admin access to VMware Engine resources and the required permissions to perform these tasks. Let's see in action how to perform these tasks one by one. First, let's configure the Internet Access and Public IP service. Go to the VMware Engine page in the Google Cloud Console, then Network Regional Settings. Click Edit on the region of your interest. If the region doesn't yet exist, Add the region by clicking on Add Region. Toggle Internet Access and Public IP Service to Enabled. In the Edge Services Cider, enter the address range to use when addressing the VMware Engine Public IP Gateway. Then click Submit. Note, it may take a few minutes for both the services to be enabled. Let's allocate a public IP address for a workload VM. In the VMware Engine page, go to Network Public IPs. Click Allocate. Give a name for the public IP address entry. I'll set mine as My Public IP. Select the private cloud that contains the workload VM. Select a location where you want to serve the allocated public IP. In the Attached Local Address field, enter the local IP address of the VM that you want to assign this public IP address to. Click Submit. Allocation of the IP address can take a few minutes. Once it's complete, the new entry will show up on the Public IPs page with the status of Operational. Yay! The VM is now allocated with a public IP address. To access the VM, you first need to create a firewall table with appropriate firewall rules because ingress via public IP is disabled by default. To create a firewall table, navigate to the Network Firewall Table section. Click Create New Firewall Table. Enter the name for the table, let's say My Firewall Table. Click Submit to save the firewall table. Next, Let's specify the subnets that we want the firewall table rules to apply to in the table. In the Network Firewall Tables page, select the firewall table we just created. My example, My Firewall Table. In the Attach Subnet tab, click Attach to a subnet. Select the private cloud you want to attach the firewall table to. Select the NSXT Edge Uplink 1 subnet of that private cloud. Click Submit. Repeat the above steps for NSXT Edge Uplink 2 subnet that is part of that private cloud. To restrict access to your private cloud, you can create your own firewall rules by following these steps. Go to Network, Firewall Tables, and select the firewall table we just created. The default rules will populate, then you'll be able to click Create New Firewall Rule. We'll just call this My Firewall Rule. We'll set it with a priority of 100, Set the source as my current public IP address. We'll then set the destination to the public IP address that I just set for my destination VM and the port range of 3389 because we want to RDP to this machine. And then click Done. Once that finishes, you'll have a new firewall rule in place. 
The following table describes the properties in a firewall rule. You can verify the firewall rule is working as expected through SSH or RDP session to the VM. To learn more about public IPs, internet access service, and firewall tables for GCVE, check out the following documentation. Thanks for watching.